Hey guys, if you ever wanted to root your Android device, flash a custom recovery or custom ROM and checked out some tutorials about that, you have definitely noticed that one of the first steps to accomplish is to set up fastboot and ADB on your computer. And today I will be showing you just that. So if you follow this link, which I will be providing you in the description down below, you will see this website. There is the download button, but we are not going to use this download button. It's quite big, it's a developer package, and we are not going to need all the packages from there. What we're going to need to do to go download options, and from here, scroll a bit down and see, and check this out, get just the command line tools. Depending on what system you are running on, right now I'll be showing you for Windows, we're going to need to download this package, which ends with zip. So. Once you press on it, agree, and download it. Once the download is finished, go to your downloads folder and you will see this zip file here, which you're going to need to extract. In my case, I'll be extracting it with WinRAR, but you can use any other tool for extracting zip files. From WinRAR, extract here, and after extraction, you will see this folder pops up in your downloads folder. You're going to need to open this folder, and there are two exes to run, but we're going to need to work with only with SDK Manager. You might not see the exe here, if your extensions are uh, hidden, but it doesn't matter. If you see SDK Manager, that's what we're going to need to use. So, run this. Wait for a second. It might take a little bit until it uh, opens. And you're going to see a lot of packages here. Many of them are uh, marked here. But as I mentioned, we're going to need only one package from this entire toolset. And the one that we're going to need is this one. So in order to install only this, we're going to press here, deselect all. So we make sure that we are selecting only this, Android SDK Platform Tools, only this one. The version might be different depending when you are downloading it. At this, uh, this point, this is the most recent version. So we're going to need to uh, check only this one. So once you select only this checkbox, it will show you here as well that you have selected only one package. If there is more than one, again, make sure to select all and select only Android SDK platform tools and press install. Here you're going to need to accept license, press install. Wait a second, don't worry about this error, it's nothing. After the extraction is finished, you're going to see this new folder pops up here. These ones you can already close. This platform tools folder is the folder that we are going to need from this entire package that we have downloaded. So basically you can copy this somewhere safe say, and delete everything else, this entire folder. From here, once you open this folder, you will see all the files. Do not delete any of them. In order to start a command line from here and to uh, launch commands, we, you're going to need to press the shift button on your keyboard. And while you are holding the shift button, right click any on any free space, on any white space. You can already let the shift go and press open command window here. Okay. With the first step, we set it up on our computer, we open the command window, and with the second step, I'll be showing you what to do on your phone in order, to, in order for your computer to be able to recognize it. Once we have ADB and Fastboot tools ready on our computer, it's time to set, this, set it up also on our phone. So, first step, we go to Settings, scroll down, Till the end, find the menu where it says about phone or about. And in the about section, somewhere you should find the section which says build number. And tap several times until it says no need, you are already a developer. And once you see the message, go back to the settings and you will see a new section which says developer options. Enter to developer options, scroll a little bit until you, where you see USB debugging and enable it. Confirm it and your phone is ready to be connected to the computer and receive commands from your PC. After turning on the USB debugging on our phone, you can already plug the phone with the USB cable to your computer. 
once you have you, once you have your phone connected with USB cable to your computer, open the command line that we opened previously, and type here ADB devices and press enter. Here you will see some random numbers, and uh, in front of it saying device. On your phone, meanwhile, you will see a confirmation with a checkbox. You should tick the checkbox and press OK. You are basically set to uh, continue from here on flashing whatever you want and interacting with your phone from your computer. This is the first part of the tutorial. In the next one, I will be showing you how to flash custom recoveries and how to root the phone. But for now, this is it. You can already close the command line once you are done working with it. Close the folder. You can rename this folder as uh, Fast Boot ADB and keep it somewhere. For example, I'm keeping my folder in uh, C directly here copy there it is for today this is it guys if there are any requests please let me know in the uh, section down below i will try to answer all the questions and if you have any problems uh, with installing this package or anything in particular regarding this video please let me know i will get back to you soon thank you